Hello YouTube. Today's video we're going to call it uh, customer service call to E-Trade and I've only been on the platform for a couple of months and I made a major mistake mm, in the first couple of weeks. So I wanted to talk about the mistake so that you could avoid it. Um, this probably applies to other platforms besides the uh, E-Trade network. So when you sign up and you know you have it's time to connect your your bank account you you go over to the transfer money tab and you you go ahead and you set up a bank account. So I thought that I would use this opportunity to connect to a bank account that I wanted to get rid of and that would be a truest bank account. Um, I was an old BB&T customer and they were bought out by Truist and it, the bank has gone completely downhill ever since the uh, transfer. And recently what they did was they uh, f uh, you know, uh, closed down the uh, American-based call center, fired all those people to save money, and they shipped the uh, call center overseas. And I'm sure that you have dealt with those overseas call centers and they're just a nightmare. And uh, I had a simple question and I was on hold for 40 minutes. And then when I was connected to somebody, you could tell that, uh, you know, they were not a banker. They were not familiar with the policies. Uh, they were just reading from a, a screen provided by you know, Truist to deliver customer support. And it was, uh, it was bad. It was really bad. So I, you know, I had about $5,000 in a, in, in a checking account with Truist and I figure I'll connect that to E-Trade. I'll drain that money out. And then, um, you know, I'll basically, you know, just close out that Truist account and then I'll switch my E-Trade to a different bank account. So that didn't work out. And I'll tell you why. Um, I connected the Truist account uh, to E-Trade you know, through the transfer of the money, I drained that account, but then I got a notice from Truist that they charged me $12 because I fell below the minimum balance. Now, I, I didn't even think of that. So you have to keep $500 in the, in the Truist account or they're going to start charging you $12 a month. So I left a dollar in there and, you know, so I was negative 11. So I ran over to the Truist branch and I paid them their $11 and I closed out that account. So here's where the problem is. I go back to E-Trade and the truest account that is connected to my E-Trade is no longer in existence. So I remove that. I can't show you my banking information, but I removed. You, it's easy to do. You just go in and you click remove uh, bank account. And that was simple enough. So I went to connect a different bank account from a different uh, bank company and the E-Trade the e system locked me out. They didn't like the fact that, and they don't really advertise this, but you can't switch bank accounts within the first 30 days of being a new member. So there was a 60 day penalty. So I had to wait the rest of the 30 days and then an additional 60 days. So it looked like I wasn't going to be able to trade uh, because I violated these rules. I wasn't going to be able to trade for a couple of months. So, um, you know, I could still buy and sell stocks from the $5,000 that I had in it, but I couldn't transfer and add any more money. So I called their customer service and there, I just want to, you know, I'm not an E-Trade um, fanboy and I'm sure that the other companies do a good job but E-Trade recently joined with Morgan Stanley some kind of merger and they're trying really hard with their customer service but here was the odd thing I thought that I would be able to email them or start a chat but they don't provide those types of customer service um, interfaces so you can send them a regular mail, which I'm obviously not going to do, or you can call them 24 seven. So when I called in, it's an American based uh, call center. And not only did I get 
a great customer service experience, but they have different levels. So you have your standard customer service agent. And if you have a technical question with a trade or you want to talk about an options trade or something like that, you can connect with a broker agent. Um, and you can also elevate these things to a supervisor. So they basically have three levels of support. Um, and it, it was really well done. So I told the guy what happened and obviously I broke the rules and I expected him to just say, Hey, look, I'm sorry for your loss, but you're good. You broke the rules. You're going to have to wait the penalty. You're going to have to wait the, the 60 days before you can transform more money. But what he did was he went and he saw his supervisor and he dug in and he said, you know, what we can do is uh, we can verify that you closed that bank account and then we can help you um, move a new bank account over uh, to E-Trade. So um, he walked me through the steps. He, I went onto the Truist website and he walked me through because I didn't know how to, to how to access the document he was looking for. So he was, you know, he looked up how to find it. He walked me through the process. He also offered a screen share opportunity, but I, I'm paranoid on that stuff. So I didn't take advantage of the screen share because he offered to do it for me. Long story short, I down I downloaded from the Truist website um, the uh, closed account documentation that he needed. He took it to his supervisor. Uh, his supervisor confirmed that I was the owner of that account. And then they unlocked my E-Trade account and I connected the new bank account. So my point is, is that, and this was like a 40 minute call, right? And the whole time the guy is uh, extremely friendly. He's really knowledgeable. We were talking about the stock market while we were waiting for the supervisor response. It was just the best possible customer service when I had just experienced the worst possible customer service. And I'm sure you guys understand when you call like Comcast or other companies, customer service is a real problem nowadays. But E-Trade is really, they're trying as hard as they can and they've really, they've really elevated the uh, customer service game. So remember that I'm just a retired car mechanic and this is not financial advice. And I don't care if you join E-Trade or not, um, but I, you know, I have no affiliation with them. But I really would like um, to hear from people that have Fidelity or Charles Schwab or even M1 Finance or other platforms. What is their customer service like? I would like to hear from you guys on that subject. Uh, just real quick, I wanted to mention that my next video will be a, about ULTY. I've already posted a video about it and things have changed with uh, the way that they are um, operating this fund. So I'm going to come out with an update video on ULTY. It's only been trading for two days. I'm up 53 cents, so I'm happy about that because on the first day, and again, I'll connect the, the previous video. It slid pretty hard the first day, but on the second day, it was up $34. I only have 65 shares. It was up $34, and it looks like it's uh, on the right track. Um, so I hope that you'll subscribe and watch the next video about ULTY, and I hope you enjoyed this customer service video uh, referencing E-Trade's top-notch customer service. Thank you very much. See you soon.